This is Minh An, a Vietnamese boy with a rare and terrible skin condition. Minh An lives on a special ward of a Saigon hospital, where his scaly skin has earned him the nickname Ka, Vietnamese for fish. Eight thousand miles away in England, great granny Brenda Smith loves Minan like a son. Ever since I met him when he was three years old, Minan has always been the one. For fifteen years, she's made it her mission to help him. When I'm on my own with him, he's just an entirely different person. They're worlds apart, but year after year, their extraordinary friendship Hello. <laughs> draws Brenda back to Vietnam. Number one. Number one. Yeah. We're the odd couple. That's what I always call us, the odd couple. <laughs> now Minan has turned 18, it's decision time for his doctors. While Brenda wants to be sure her friend has a future. Good boy. Years are going by so fast now. I shan't be around forever. What's going to happen to him then? On this visit, Brenda's determined to see what she can do to make a lasting difference. <laughs> To Minan's life. It's 5 a.m. The inhabitants of one of Asia's fastest growing cities are waking up. On a third-story hospital ward, the orphans of the Peace Village start their day. In a corner is Min An. Every night he's tied up to prevent him escaping. Min An was abandoned on a rubbish dump as a tiny baby. He's severely mentally handicapped, and his skin is covered in thick, flaking scales. This ward for handicapped orphans has been Minan's home for 11 years. Now 18, he's one of the oldest. And once the ties are off, there's no holding him back. There's just one thing that relaxes Minan and makes him happy. Water. Minan's skin can barely sweat or breathe, causing him to dramatically overheat. Two cold showers a day are his only relief from the Saigon heat. <laughs> Minan arrived at the Peace Village 11 years ago, after growing too old for his childhood orphanage. With no medical history, no one knew what caused his skin condition. It was the other children who came up with the nickname Fish, that everyone now uses. He remains a mystery. Only a specially thickened cream stops him scratching himself raw. <laughs> Minan shares his home with 60 severely mentally and physically handicapped orphans. He 
each with their own unique problems. While most are confined to the ward, the lucky few leave to attend school for a few hours. Day in, day out, Minan goes nowhere. Now 18, Minan's tendency for self-inflicted violence stretches the staff. Keeping him out of trouble is a full-time job. To keep him quiet, they sedate him, and he's left with little stimulation. But all that is set to change, with the arrival in a few days of Minan's unlikely fairy godmother. In England, 78-year-old Brenda Smith is arriving for Christmas dinner with her family. <laughs> This time of year, Great Granny Brenda is in huge demand, from four grandchildren and five great-grandchildren. But it's actually early December, and Christmas Day is still three weeks away. When the real Christmas arrives, Brenda will be with Minan, 8,000 miles away in Vietnam. When she first met Minan, Brenda was volunteering in a Saigon orphanage. It was love at first sight. When I first met him, I went up to him and picked him up because he was only three years old. But all he wanted to do was just to sit on my lap. Sometimes I would, I would sit there for a couple of hours and he just didn't want me to move. Just fell in love with him and that, and it's been like that ever since. Right, cheers, Mum. Cheers. Oh. Oh. Brenda was at the orphanage because her late husband Baz had introduced her to Vietnam just weeks before he died. Since then, visiting has become a way of keeping his memory alive. They were soulmates. They had a real laugh together and he was a real character and I just think nobody could ever match up to him really. But in Minan, Brenda has found someone else to care for. This year will be her 15th trip to see him. I think Mum needs to feel needed. She needs to feel wanted. She needs to have a reason to be somewhere. Um, and I think since she's met Minan, there's the reason to go back. After 15 hours in the air, Brenda touches down in Vietnam. Uh, it's still as crowded as ever. <laughs> Wonderful to be back in Saigon. I'm so looking forward to seeing my name. Yes, uh, it would be just lovely to see him. This year, Brenda's on a mission. She's determined to find someone closer to home to help brighten up Minan's life. It would make such a difference to him, give him something to look forward to. At 78, she's concerned she might not be able to make the trip much longer, but fears for his future without her. He's just wasting away, just laying there day after day. The thought of not being able to come back to Minan, it's just too horrible to think about. British granny Brenda Smith has landed in Vietnam. She's a long way from Essex, but has been coming to Saigon so long, it feels like home. I definitely come alive when I come here to Vietnam. I mean, I do love England, and I know it's a beautiful country, but as soon as I go off that plane, I just get this feeling, oh, I'm home again. It's Brenda's 15th year visiting Minan, and she's concerned. Now he's turned 18, he's the normal age to be moved to an adult facility, making his future uncertain. When I look around, I see children much younger than me I often wonder, you know, will they move him somewhere else? But this is what's worrying me. I don't know where he's going to go when he does get older. 
The Peace Village Children's Ward is strictly off limits to outsiders, but over the years, Brenda's won the authorities over. I definitely feel I'm coming home, yes, definitely. Now she wants to try and persuade them to put some long-term care in place. I feel it's like home because I've been coming for so long and I know the nurse is well now. After nine months apart from her beloved Minan, this is the moment she's been waiting for. Ever since I met him when he was three years old, Minan has always been the one. I think when I do appear, he gets so, he's so happy and excited because I must be the person nearest to being, you know, a parent to him. I'm the only one that has ever sort of been allowed to take him out. So uh, just to go outside those gates, it's just wonderful for him. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello, are you? <laughs> God, you got tall, you got bigger. Tall. Tall. Number one. Number one. Tall. Number one. Yeah. 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 Brenda and Minan communicate without her knowing a word of Vietnamese. Hello. Hey, Hello, isn't he? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> now he's 18. Minan's very strong. But Brenda's presence calms him enough that she's allowed to take him off the ward. I'd take him anywhere, and he's no problem, no trouble at all. Thank you, love. Thank you. While he's prepared, Brenda looks in on some of the other orphans. Although she's visited for years, it's always hard to see their suffering. Not really the right type, really, for all these little children there, because I do, I get so upset when I see some of these little children. Cracked skin on the soles of his feet makes walking painful. But nothing can hold Min Ann back from a day trip with Brenda. From now on, Brenda's on her own. Hey! Yeah! Yeah, lovely. Say, lovely! Gaggy! Lovely! <laughs> it's exactly nine months since anyone last took Minan outside the ward. He's very excited. <laughs> now he's a young man, he's not as easy to handle as he used to be. Right, here we go. He is heavy, you know, when he hangs on to me all the time. And getting him down the curbs, that is very hard, and up the curbs. Ready? <laughs> After 15 years, Brenda can ignore the reaction they get in public places. Quite a lot of people do stand and stare. Some people look at him in horror, you know, and think, oh, my God, what's, what's wrong with that child? But I never feel self-conscious at all. And, you know, well, he's not bothered anyway, he don't care. We're the odd couple. That's what I always call us, the odd couple. <laughs> oh, Mike, could you might bang my head as well? Oh, OK. Isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know, yeah. I know. It's the supermarket. OK. One, two. Go. There's a good boy. There's a good boy. Minan loves the supermarket for its air conditioning. But it's the food court he's really missed. Got very good appetite, haven't you? Very good appetite. Right, now what was it you wanted? Um, yeah, one of those, okay. 
Brenda believes Minan's nurses are wrong, and he is capable of thinking for himself. Thank you very much, love. Thank you. All right, Minan? Minan needs personal attention. Right from the word go, they used to just say to me, oh, he's crazy. He's never had a chance to show that he is intelligent. And as I say, I think he is intelligent. He's banging his head an awful lot today. Aren't you, hey? It's upsetting for Brenda to see Minan more agitated than normal. Nothing stops the banging. It's got nothing to do with whether he's happy or not. Perhaps he's got too excitable. Nan, Minan, no, Minan, don't do that. Yeah. Don't bang your head. Gosh, he's eating it all. Well done, Minan. Very good. Who's number one? In years gone by, Brenda could manage Minan on her own for entire days. But now, just a couple of hours tires her out. Boy! Minan knows what's coming. Brilliant. Right, are you ready? I'll take him back now. Come on, I think it's time. <laughs> oh, Nan! <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Oh, God, you really spoiled it, Minan. That's very bad. Sorry. Oh, shoot. Finding someone to fill her shoes when she goes back to the UK isn't going to be easy. As he's been getting older, he's been getting more and more frustrated. The fact that, uh, you know, he's not doing anything, he's not learning anything. No, get no exercise. He's got nothing to occupy his mind because he is an intelligent boy, he really is. Good boy, good boy. With Minan back in the care of his nurses, Brenda visits some of the 60 other orphans of the Peace Village. Although each child has their own unique problems, their doctors believe at least 85% may be affected due to their parents' exposure to a deadly substance called dioxin, a chemical contaminant of Agent Orange. The American army used Agent Orange during the war to destroy Vietnamese jungle, to try and prevent communist Viet Cong soldiers from ambushing their troops. This chemical warfare caused widespread natural devastation, with, some believe, a terrible, unforeseen human cost. Forty years later, Thousands of babies suffering birth defects are attributed to their parents' exposure to Agent Orange. While there is still some dispute that Agent Orange is directly responsible, many are abandoned by their terrified parents. Hello, I've seen you before. Oh no, I've seen you before. <laughs> Even after years of visits, Brenda finds the suffering extremely moving. These kids have got no chance whatsoever, none. Just laying their cocks in that little child there. She's got no arms, She's got a hair lip. They've all got something really, really wrong with them. You admire the children so much because they're always happy. They've got nothing nothing to play with, they're all, but they're always happy. And I admire, I admire them so much, I really do. And I wish I could do something for them. <laughs> when Minan arrived 11 years ago, it was assumed he too was one of the worst victims of Agent Orange the ward had seen but his unique skin condition baffled head doctor Win Tan. Tại vì khi bé tới nó thì da của bé bị tróc. Bị tróc rồi bị nứt ra. 
cái giai đoạn mà nó chảy máu nữa minh anh được điều trị cái kem là salicylat của của bệnh viện da liễu điều chế thì tôi thấy là cái kem này thì rất là tốt cho cái da của minh anh His turning 18 has triggered a fresh assessment. Before Dr. Tan decides if Minan should be moved to another facility, she wants one last try at identifying the cause of his skin condition. Specialist Dr. Chung from Saigon's leading dermatology hospital will make the assessment. <laughs> Dr. Chung suspects that Min An's skin condition might not be caused by Agent Orange. <coughs> But he wants a second opinion from a British expert who specializes in skin conditions like this, called Dr. David Page. Dr. Page has requested close-up photographs. Cơ hội để mà hội chẩn để mà tham vấn với lại chuyên gia hàng đầu của thế giới về bệnh da dày cá thì đó là một cơ hội rất hay rất là hiếm. Dr. Page's assessment could help the hospital understand how to manage Minan's mysterious skin condition. Hello. For Brenda, it's something she's long been waiting for. And the doctors are definitely trying their hardest to find some other way uh, to help him. And I just hope and pray that it does work. At St. Bart's Hospital in central London, skin specialist Dr. David Page reviews the photos he's been sent of Min Anne. It's very severe indeed, and it would affect really just about every aspect of the child's life. All of the skin is involved with this 100%. There's not a single bit of normal skin, really. Again, that's just another example of this really quite nasty cracking, and that must be very, very sore for this child. From the photos, Dr. Page can finally make a confirmed diagnosis. Min An has a rare condition called ichthyosis, and the children who nicknamed him Fish were closer to the truth than anyone knew. Ichthyosis is a word that, strange enough, comes from a Greek word, ichthys, which means fish, and it's really a term we use for not just one skin condition, it's a group of skin conditions, and they all have this one thing in common, is that the skin doesn't shed normally and looks highly abnormal. As ichthyosis is a genetic condition, and definitely not related to Agent Orange, Dr. Page may be able to help. You could improve this significantly with some treatment. In Saigon, Dr. Chung waits for Dr. Page's diagnosis. Hi, Dr. Page, I'm Dr. Chung. No, I think it's just a, a, a classic case of the mother ichthyosis. Oh, yeah. Shocked by Minan's poor condition, Dr. Page wants to try and treat him. Do you have access to, to any uh, of the retinoid drugs? Yes, uh, retinoid. Yeah. Works well in about 90% of um, people with malaria. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Page. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for looking after him as well. I'm pleased that somebody's interested in looking after him. I'm very pleased to hear it. Retinoids are high doses of a synthetic vitamin A. Supplementing the body's natural supply can kickstart huge skin regeneration. It only works for around 90% of ichthyosis sufferers like Minan, but could help him. In terms of the degree of scaling, I, I would imagine he would improve significantly with retinoid drugs. About 95% of children with Mello do very well with these drugs. Brenda's delighted to see Minan getting more attention. She's been worried he faced moving to an adult facility without being helped. And this is the first time that anything like this has happened. So I hope, you know, some good will really come of it. <laughs> really, nobody's been able to understand his skin condition. That is it.
three, four, what? Go up. Five. Go up. So I only hope that this is, you know, the beginning of a new life for him. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Yay! Yeah. Well done. Well done. Whatever happens with the new treatment, Brenda's determined to make Min Ann's life a happier one. She's heard that there's someone who can help in her quest to broaden his horizons. 25-year-old Loy. Lúc đó lại vào đây lúc lại 6 tuổi đó là cảm giác hơi lạ một chút tại mình qua môi trường mới được xây dựng mình sống chung với ba mẹ. Bây giờ mình qua môi trường này khác mà để có điều kiện mình tốt hơn cho mình lên hệ cũng xa lạ và cũng vui chứ gia đình mà nhà mình mà phụ giúp mấy cô là chuyện bình thường thôi. gia đình thôi cái cái vui rồi Loy has fought to overcome his disabilities and what's more he's now a budding Paralympian swimmer who loves water just as much as Min An không biết bình thường nhưng mà cái sở thích mình thích học mình thích bơi để sau này mình đi đâu đó hay có đi chơi với bạn bè có sự cố gì thì mình có thể tự cứu bản thân mình được nên lợi thích đam mê đi bơi lội di chuyển trên bờ đối với lợi thì lại cũng thấy rất là bình thường và thoải mái chỉ hơi chậm hơn người bình thường thôi tại vì mình không có chân mình bị mất hai chân Brenda has persuaded Loy to take Minan swimming in the hospital pool. Come on. Let's go. If today is a success, she hopes this might become a regular fixture. All these little children, like Minan, they really do need someone to go in and just make a fuss of them. And that's all these children seem to want. Is some love and attention. Min An loves his daily showers, but this is his first time in deep water. Oh, he loves the water. Brilliant. Even his nurses are amazed how the boy called Fish has come to life. For Loy, it's all down to Brenda. Thì như các em ở đây là đều một coi chú hay là một người vị khách nào đó đến đây chơi và mến một em nào đó mà dắt đi chơi vui vẻ giống như là có một giống như là cho em tạo cho em có một không khí một gia đình thì đó điều đó rất là. Seeing Min An happy and invigorated is exactly what Brenda intended. Yeah, the look on his face. I mean, he was ecstatic with happiness. He really was. It's, oh, it's lovely. It'd be so lovely if just like once or twice a week he had a trip out. That's what I'd love, just to know that once gone, that somebody would definitely make sure that he goes swimming once a week or something like that. Oh, isn't that good? You need more to life than just being fed and taken care of. Brenda only hopes she can find a way of keeping Minan's treatment going when she leaves. It was so lovely to know that he was being looked after and had the right medication. I think that would help him a lot. It's 8 a.m. Brenda's killing time before she can get back on the ward to take Minan out again. It's him that's drawn her to Saigon for the last 15 years running. But she first visited nearly 20 years ago with her late husband, Baz. When Baz and I told the family our destination was Vietnam, they were actually horrified. And they said to Baz, if anything happens to Mum, you'll be the one to blame because you're taking her there. In 1994, Brenda and Baz were among the first tourists to Vietnam. But for no ordinary holiday, they arrived with bikes to cycle the length of the country. 
We're both very, very adventurous. Baz was great. I mean, he got everything planned and he had every route worked out. Never lost our way. As we used to cycle along Highway 1, it seemed as if a signal was going ahead that there was these two strange characters coming along on bicycles. We found nothing but everywhere went nothing but kindness and, uh, oh, it made such a fuss off. In the three weeks it took Brenda and Baz to cover the 1,200 miles from Hanoi to Saigon, they completely fell in love with the country. It had been uh, such a wonderful time. Well, I used to call it the journey of a lifetime because I mean, that's what it was to us, a journey of a lifetime. They vowed to return the following year to help Vietnam's street children. But it wasn't to be. Tragically, just six weeks later, Baz died suddenly of a heart attack. He's been gone nearly 18 years now, and it's still like it was yesterday. I should never, never get over it. We did everything together, everything. 18 years on, Saigon is still full of memories. The um, apartment place we stayed at, I often go and look at it and remember, just remember the two of us being there together. I was really, really happy when I was here. It was just a wonderful occasion. We'd, we'd done what we set out to do, and we thought we were going to go back to England and celebrate, and it didn't happen. Brenda's dedication to Baz's memory has brought her back year after year. I know that if he was alive, we'd be back together here now, doing something to help the children. When I come here, I miss Baz more than ever. But at the same time, I go to the hospital and I see my nan, and uh, I know he's so happy when he sees me. That really helps me a lot. How are you? I know that if he was here, he'd be at the hospital with me. You glad to see me? There. Yes, yes. Later today, Brenda has to leave Saigon to travel north. She knows Minan will be sad to see her go. So she's organised a special treat. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Cha, cha, cha. A few years ago, she discovered Minan shared her love of sightseeing. From the back of a motorbike. I love motorbikes. Yeah, if I my way, I spend all my time riding around on motorbikes. I love them. It does him good to be out in the air, you know, fresh air for a while at least. There's the palace over there. Yeah, over there. It's an activity they've enjoyed together many times. But Minan has grown to a size where he's almost too much for Brenda. He was inclined to lean back on me, so of course I had to like, push him forward and that. Yeah, yeah. This year I have noticed that he has got a lot stronger and, and he has got taller. And um, sometimes that is now, it is quite a, you know, a problem sometimes. You like motorbikes, don't you? Back on two wheels in Vietnam, Baz is never far from her thoughts. Uh, I, I feel very sort of at peace when I go to Vietnam. Um, just, uh, as I say, because we were both so happy there and that, and that was the last place we went to. Yes. <laughs> ah. Ah. Let's see. Oh. Yeah. 
Hi. Will you tell him I love him very much? Brenda doesn't want to leave him. But this year, there's one thing she just has to do for Baz. Yeah. I love you too. Yeah, I love you too, darling. Yeah. Yeah. I've got to go now. Yeah. I'll go now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You stay with, All right. you, with, with yeah. the nurse. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, love. Oh, this is Brenda's hoping for a quiet getaway. But Minan senses he's not going to see her for a while. I don't want to stand around too long, please. You've got to stay here, darling. You've got to stay here. Mate, Minan, I've got to go, darling. Sorry, I've got to go. I'm sorry. Leaving him is something she's done countless times. But it never fails to break her heart. Come on, Minan. That's how I have to leave him, like that, looking very, very depressed. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Brenda will return in six weeks to find out if the changes she's tried to implement have lasted. British great granny Brenda Smith is leaving Minan in Saigon for a few weeks in the highlands of central Vietnam. I'm just hoping now that with uh, the right sort of treatment that he will improve. Brenda knows this could be her last trip to Vietnam and there's somewhere she's always wanted to go the mountain town of Da Lat. Famous for its beautiful lake and the cycle ride round it. Something Brenda and her late husband Baz never managed to do. So today, she's doing it for both of them. This wind is really strong. I often used to say to him, Oh, gosh, we got the wind in front of us again, haven't we? And he used to say, yes, we want the wind on our backs and the sun on our faces. And when he sent me his last Valentine card, and he'd written on that, we'll always be together, cycling on the country lanes with the wind on our backs and the sun on our faces. <laughs> Brenda wants to honour Baz's memory before she leaves. He loved this country. And he said that when I retire, we go back and we see what we can do for the children. He was the best husband in the world. I used to tell him that a lot of times. I was so darn lucky, you know, to have met him. He knew that uh, his photograph was in that temple. Yeah, he'd be absolutely amazed. Six weeks later, Brenda's back at the peace village in Saigon. She's looking forward to seeing how Min An's getting on. The retinoid treatment seems not to have made a difference. Yeah. I, I thought to myself, oh, well, there must be some improvement. And it's still, it's just as bad as ever. Yes, yeah, so there's no improvement in it at all. Hello. You enjoying yourself? You look very happy, don't you? Hey, you look very... Skin specialist Dr Chung is monitoring Minan's progress. Chứ còn cái độ dày, độ chốc nó thì nó vẫn như cũ à. Nó bớt khô. 
Dạ, thấy không? Nó bớt khô, nó nó mềm mại, nó dễ chịu thôi Chứ cái lúc mà cóc nhiều nó cũng dày cui à Tại vì chưa biết sao cái Sobretan nó thì nó có tác dụng trong cái này tốt Nhưng mà cái là khoảng... Ừ. Chắc có lẽ này rơi vậy là 10% không tác dụng của à, em Có lẽ vậy Nhưng mà... Ờ, mà cái đó cũng thực tế But it's not all bad news. Brenda feared that now he's 18, Minan would be moved to an adult facility. But the Peace Village staff have decided they want to continue taking care of him. Như khách quan chị á, chị vô là chị nhìn thấy chị thấy Minan có khả năng ở ngoài được không? Em thấy là chị có ở đây ở đây lo. Brenda's relieved that he's going to be able to stay in the home that he knows. She told me, she said that he will stay with us until he dies. Sometimes they just can't improve their condition. So I've just got to accept that. And one heartwarming change is that since she's been away, Loy has taken Minan under his wing. And regular attention from a new friend is having a positive effect. Oh, yeah. Come and swim in Minan. Come and swim. Once a week, Lloyd takes Minan off the ward for a one-to-one -one swimming lesson. Today, she's going to see how the two of them manage. He just loves swimming, so he should have a nice time. Despite his disabilities, Loy leaves the ward every day. He's enjoying showing Minan the outside world. There's nowhere that Minan feels more comfortable than in the water. But Loy is encouraging him to learn to swim. And he's taking to it well. <laughs> Seeing Minan so happy makes all the difference for Brenda. Loy could be the friend she's always wanted to look out for him. But she's decided she's not going to let go of Minan completely until she absolutely has to. As long as I feel like I feel now, which is absolutely 100% great, I'll still get my right sack and I'll come back to Vietnam. As I say, he needs me and I need him, so we're right there together. Back at the Peace Village, Loy's influence is even more evident. For the first time, Brenda sees Minan joining in and taking an interest in his fellow orphans. We took him back and he was happy to go back to the hospital and he walked straight in and went and plonked himself right down in the middle of them all and everybody was talking to him and that. And uh, I said uh, goodbye and he just gave me a big smile and waved to me and it was lovely to leave him like that. For the first time ever, Brenda leaves Minan knowing he's in safe hands and comfortable in his surroundings. I was so pleasantly surprised and he looked so happy and uh, contented. So I only hope that this is, you know, the beginning of a new life for him. <laughs> 